Now, what is the financial manager's place in the corporation? I'd like to talk a little bit about agency costs or agency problems. In most corporations, with the exception of a, a corporation that's owned by one or two people, owned and operated by one or two people, as a shareholder, you don't really have any say in what the corporation is doing. I own shares of IBM stock. IBM certainly isn't going to listen to me about what to do. I have nothing to do with the day-to-day -day decisions that the IBM managers are making. As a shareholder, I, I get dividends from IBM. I'm hoping for capital gains, but I don't really run the company or control the company. So what has happened as a shareholder, I have in essence hired the agents or managers and actually in reality I vote for the board of directors the board of directors in turns in turn hires the manager well there there may be conflicts of interest between the principal that's that's me the shareholder and the agent that's the managers maybe they want a company plane and country club memberships those are called perquisites a, a manager could have excessive per perks that please the manager but take away from the shareholder. Managers sometimes are more conservative. They don't want the company to be financially distressed and lose their jobs. Whereas a shareholder, and this is another recurring theme, I want the company to take risks because my rewards will be higher if the company takes risk. Also, the CEO's performance. Uh, typically, CEO, CFO, uh, upper management, although it could extend further down the company, that the board of directors, the shareholders, are going to put in place incentives to encourage the manager to act in the shareholders' best interests. For example, giving them stock options. Well, if they have stock options, they own a lot of stock in the company, they're going to want to do whatever they can to increase the share price because that's going to increase their wealth. Um, hostile takeover, uh, takeovers are part of the market for corporate control. If a company is not doing well, it may be taken over by another company that looks and says, hey, this company is undervalued. I can do a lot better with this company than the current management is doing. So therefore, uh, we're going to take over that company. Odds are really, really good that if a company gets taken over, the managers who are doing so poorly are going to get fired and obviously the managers would like to avoid getting fired. As part of CEO performance, you want the managers to act in your best interests. In the U.S. in particular, there is a lot of pay in the form of bonuses and incentive pay, stock options, stock grants. And the end result is that executive salaries in the U.S. relative to the average worker's salary are much, much, much higher in the U.S. than is the case in other countries. You will see lots of articles in the business press about this increasing gap, and it didn't used to be this high, where the CEO is making many, many multi-millions of dollars, whether it's salary or bonuses or stock options, compared to the average worker. They have tried to put limits on this, but the limits have not been successful. We'll be looking throughout this course at other examples of this and how this is going to potentially impact a corporation.